Larry Bird at his best, LeBron James at his best. Oh, my God. And do we have to put the teams, too, or just individual players? If there's a draft. Oh, my God. And you can take Bird or LeBron. Oh. So let, let's say I take Larry at this age when I think he averaged 30, 10, and 7, something like that. And LeBron right now. So you got Larry Legend. Okay. Or now what rules, One, are we, what rules are we playing to? We're playing today's rules. <laughs> Tough oh, decision, go Reggie. Joe. I see. I gotta go with Larry Joe. Let's get it. We back with the Larry Bird, the baddest man to ever shoot a basketball. NBA legends telling a whole story about why Larry Bird is the greatest of all time, which we already know why. If new to the channel, it's your boy D Techno De Niro here. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn notification bells on so you don't miss another video. But we already did part one and part two to this. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and check the channel out. You will see part two and part one with the last two videos I had uploaded about Larry Bird. Um also, check out the playlist, the Larry Bird playlist that we got on there as well. It's a bunch of videos on there that are fan favorites that people like and love. So, I'm pretty sure you're going to like them too. But, I don't want to talk y'all heads off. I only got one more part after this. So, let's get straight to this video. And then, we can move on with the last one. And, I'm open to any suggestions on any videos you want me to check out next as well. So, please drop that in the comments. But, let's get it, y'all. The greatest player of all time, Jack Ramsey. That's what Jack Ramsey said about Larry Bird. Straight up. hit more clutch shots, you know, in pressure situations than, than any player. They told you yeah. about each and every one, right? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. He would call the spot. According to Jason Williams, he felt confident enough that he could check an aging Larry Bird on the court. It didn't start off well for the 76ers. Charles Barkley had come to the game hungover, and Larry Bird realized that immediately. Mm. He knew Chuck had a big night out. Look at Larry him Bird over there. saw this as an opportunity to trash talk his way into All the over league. the honeys. Not only did Bird start trash talking him, but he was lighting him up on the court. Larry Bird was hitting three after three after three on Barkley, and he couldn't do anything to stop it. I get there, and uh, Charles Barkley comes to the game hungover. <laughs> Hung over, you know. You could smell it on him. Boy, it smells like a sailor, man. It's like possum nuts, you know. <laughs> so Larry Bird goes, comes in the game. They start it, and he goes, mm, "Charlie, you've been out all night, man. Right? Take this with you." Boom! He starts lighting it up, Charles Bar. <laughs> Larry Bird doing what Larry Bird does, backs down the court after hitting in three, and tells the opposition coach, "Hey, coach, give me somebody else." So they put in Rick Mahorn, and he look at Rick and say. <laughs> if you got a whole ass, you got to make two trips, boy. You can't check me. Why, why, why? Larry Bird just talk. <laughs> then Bird says to the coach, Coach, put somebody else on me. And so he did. And so on came Armand Gilliam. Now, as you can imagine, Larry Bird started lighting him up as well. So after Larry Bird started killing Gilliam, he struts back down the court just like Larry Bird does and says, Hey, coach, put the rookie in. You know, he tried back. He looks over at the bench and he goes, Hey, coach, put the rookie in. I was like, and yeah, put me in. Um, you better not hope you don't put me in. And then Jimmy goes, Jake, go get him. And I go in. I go, yeah, yeah. What, what you want to do? Come on, baby, let's go. Let's get it on. And he gives me a pump fake, and I jump clear across his head. And when I come back down, he looks at me, and goes, stupid rookie, boom, and hits a three pointer. So I'm like, oh, sh okay, that's one. He's Larry Bird. Okay, the next time I'm just gonna play him this way. I'm not gonna jump. And he's laughing. His third goes, you're not gonna jump against the bird, man. Whap, hits another one. So six points in not 25 seconds. I go, shit, now what do I do? So I'm caught between the fart and the shit. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm like half jumping, half now, half jumping. I look like a damn orangutan. What to do? What to do? What to do? Now I'm panicking. And he just gives me a pump fake, crosses over, hits another. He got nine points now, Ben. Post me up. Wow. Five down, he calls. They throw the ball in the post. He pump fake, goes around and dunks on me. Now I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I got dunked on by a white man who's on the end of his career. Can never Larry go home Bird. again. <laughs> it's a wrap now. From that point on, Williams not only doubted if he should be playing NBA basketball, but he contemplated suicide for a brief moment. I'm starting to think when we run back down, maybe I shouldn't play basketball. Maybe I wasn't that good. Maybe I should have been a brick mason. You know, what the hell am I doing here? I can't go home now. If this guy scores one more bucket, it's, you know, I'm thinking suicide. I really was. I was like, what the? F Larry Bird had destroyed. Hey. To go from NBA basketball player up here all the way down to like literally under my mic. Y'all can't see my hands, so I'm just going, this is like in reference. 
This is below my mic. Brick Mason is crazy. Larry Bird gave him about 15 points in about a minute and 30 seconds and got the man ready to take his life from here to down here. <laughs> Larry Bird was extremely dangerous, man. I don't really think people understand how dangerous that man was. Just That is just phenomenal, to be honest with you. To hear someone say that out of their mouth, like, man, am I supposed to be an NBA player? <laughs> it's crazy because one guy gave you buckets like that his confidence in an instant so the second half starts and i'm on the bench and he starts lighting up charles barkley again he's lighting up rick mahorn then he's lighting up on mcgillian right and the coach comes down to the bench you got nobody else to put in the game and he looks at me and i start looking into the stands with the with the fans <laughs> i wouldn't give no eye contact to jimmy line and the coach <laughs> and i'm like please don't put me back in there with that white guy please whatever you do <laughs> It was the first time in my life I was ever so scared to be on a, on a go into a basketball game. Larry Bird made a grown man not want to play the game he loved because it was killing him too much. That's what I just said. Again, it's like it's telling the story yeah. in the air. Yeah. See, people don't yeah. realize how big Larry yeah, was either. Six ten. Yeah. He was six yeah. yeah. ten. Yeah. Shooting that fade away from the court. There's nothing you can T do about it. Tell us about it, Sneak. T tell us about Larry Bird. <laughs> 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 Some experience on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. Tell us. A lot of experience. <laughs> I'll give you a game. <laughs> I'll give you a game. Well, Kevin McHale scored 57 one night. So Bird said, I'm going to break your record against Atlanta. Yeah. I'm like, won't get 55, not here. It's a duel. Put down your saber. Wilkins responds. It's Bird's turn. Comes up with a shot. And the Celtics lead. The way he was shooting the ball was like living in a video game. It couldn't be real, but it was. Dominique Wilkins said that about Larry Bird following Bird's 60-point game against the Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> Going into that game, I thought there might be a ray of sunshine because one of the bellmen told me that he had heard that Larry and a couple of his teammates may have gotten in a little bit late the night before. So I was saying, hey, maybe Larry won't have a real good night. Damn, birds. He's heating up. Well, in New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. Bird, the bomb. Bird, the fall away. Bird out of the left corner. The bomb is good. To say that Larry had a hot hand is uh, an understatement without question. Fact. Damn, he's going, uh. Damn. You can't give him that shot. You can't give him no shots. He got so hot in that game. Bird posted left, takes the jumper and hits it again. Fadeaway was dangerous. That fadeaway was really dangerous. Basketball as I've ever seen. Fifteen remaining in the third. Bird posted left, takes the jumper and hits it again. Ooh, he's just hitting the bottom of the net. Nine, Larry Bird is just unconscious. That you talk about that patented step back. Damn. Takes it and drills it again. He's unbelievable. A lead for Bird front court. Bird shoots the jumper right side. Good. I'm sure to Larry, the rim seemed like it was about five feet wide. Right corner, Bird bomb. Good. He was doing that step back, and he switched it to his left hand three separate times in that game. You gotta start fouling him. They open the right side. Bird the fall away. He oh. drills it again. Oh. You're seeing a greater performance as you'll ever see from Larry Bird. It was Dominique as this up and coming player, and he was just, he was just torturing him mentally. I mean, he saw Dominique at this up and coming player, and he was just torturing him mentally. He tortured all of us. He was calling shots off the glass. Who's next? Where you want this from? And he just made one after the other. Hey, that's Doc Rivers, a legendary basketball player and coach. Shout out to Doc Rivers. That game was unbelievable, just absolutely unbelievable. Uh, Dominique guarded him, Cliff guarded him, Antoine Carr guarded him, I guarded him. Uh, nothing worked. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Leave him sleep. Hey, Let him stay asleep. Sleep, yes. Dennis Johnson, a lead for Bird. They want him to. They want him to keep scoring too. Bird takes the jumper and hits it again. <laughs> Bird with eight seconds. Bird on the.
on the drive. The runner. Ooh. Damn, Dominique. You getting all that? Bird with eight seconds. Bird on the drive. The runner oh. is good again. <laughs> the fall away. Oh, ooh, damn. <laughs> he gave him a fake in and a fake out. Damn. You know, it's like his eyes got this big, and I knew it was on then. I said, I knew it was on. And when, when you talk about the clutch shots, he hit 10 clutch shots. Larry Bird. Yeah, he don't fight. He unconscious. Larry Bird, Larry Bird, Larry Bird. <laughs> I was going to say in that game. Yeah. You had 47 in that yes. game. Larry Bird had 34, but 20 of those wow. in the fourth quarter. So clutch is not just the final yeah. three or four seconds of a game. Bird kills you. Larry Bird will fight for the ball. He wanted it. And the thing is, we were sending everybody at him to slow him down. He was so hot that I think one of the shots he hit was a left-handed three. That's when you know a guy is mm, in yeah. the zone. Mm. Right. In the zone. Damn. Falling. Oh. Oh, that's, that's, that's the toughest shot ever. Anywhere on the floor that Ooh. he wanted. Is this when the I bench mean, was, was giving each other five? The bench was giving each other five. He makes a jump shot, and the Atlantic players are high-fiving each other like, man, this guy's so hot. Bird has 54. There's Bird. Bird, 14 seconds. He got fouled. He hit the shot. Oh, <laughs> boy. Everybody was a fan of Bird. Shot you can imagine in that game. Bird with eight seconds. Bird on the drive. The runner oh. is good again. Oh, did you get in a fight with them after the game? Forget, I, forget Larry. Did you well, beat anybody on the I'll big way? You beat five. He's scoring on me. Yes. Every one of those guys <laughs> got fined three thousand. Okay, <laughs> good. Oh, I, mean, I could not. I've wow. never seen a guy get that hot before. He called it. Uh, he said, "Rainbow uh, trainer's lap." You know, and he faded away, hit the shot, and fell into our trainer's lap. And Bird falls into Joe O'Toole. Larry Bird. What oh, more can you say? Larry Bird. Larry Bird. That white boy was a bad man. They got fined $3,000, yes. right? Yes. Now, we watching the film the next day, and we, you know, we looking at everybody. Off the pick comes Bird. Bird on the drive. The floater is good. Oh. Down low for Bird with position. He fakes it and shoots it good. Oh. Bird out of the left corner. The bomb is good. Off the pick comes Bird for the bomb. Got it again. Off to Bird for the open 20-footer. It's good. On the left wing, Wedman down low. Bird, he gets away from the steal. The layup is good. Posted up, Bird. Takes the jumper and hits it. Bird. Shoots the jumper. That's all you hear is Bird. Bird posted left. Takes the jumper and hits it again. Bird. All you hear is Bird. Hits it, it again. And drills it again. Bird will try another jumper. Damn. The, the buzzer Bird beater. Got it again. A two on one with Bird. Bird's layup is good. Bird with eight <laughs> seconds. Bird on the drive. The runner. Oh, it's good again. Here's Bird. Bird the fall away. Tough shot. And he drilled. Listen. This look like NBA versus elementary school. And they just literally got one player doing all the work. Because that's all you see is just Bird going off on everybody. And nobody. Like they contesting it. But they like they're not really contesting it because they don't want to get embarrassed after he makes the shot on them. So it's like they just throw their hands up in the air, you know, just throw throw their hands in the air, make it look good. But really, they already know, like in the back of their head, it's probably an eighty to ninety percent chance that he gonna make this shot. So, so be it, <laughs> straight up. Hey, if, you, if you're still here, make sure you hit the like button, like button, y'all. Um, we try to get the video up to 15 likes again. Appreciate everybody that been liking all the past videos, part one, part two. Part one, I think we got up to 15 videos. Part two, we got up to like nine. It's only been a day, so we gonna let some other, some other people come check the video out. But just be sure to like the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. But we only got a few minutes left on this video, so let's go ahead and get this one over with. And then uh, make sure y'all drop some in the comments about any other videos you want me to check out. I'm thinking of Larry Bird's top 50. It again. He stubbed his toe. Right corner. Bird bomb. Good. They open the right side. Bird the fall away. He oh. drills it again. A lead for Bird. They want him to. They want him to keep scoring too. Bird. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Again. There's Bird. Bird. 14 seconds. He got fouled. He hit the shot. The reason why Larry Bird got so hot in that game in that fourth quarter. Kevin Willis and I and Bird was running down the court and Kevin reaches across me and puts his finger in. And Larry Bird's chest said, don't let this so-and-so score anymore tonight. And I looked at Kevin, 
Uh, what you doing? Bird will try another <laughs> jumper and hit it at the buzzer. Greatest A bad man. Damn. Now this is where we kind of get a little breakdown. When we talk about the greatest shooter of all time and stuff like that, you know, Steph Curry definitely can shoot his butt off, but I've never seen him shooting like this before. I've never seen him shooting like this before. Uh, don't get me wrong, he make a lot of shots behind the, beyond the arc, and I feel like the reason why he even became, you know, got that big with the name Steph Curry is because he was shooting so much further away from the NBA line beyond the, beyond the three. You know, he's shooting from um, half court. He's shooting from the logo. He's shooting deep, deep corner shots. And a lot of them, some of them was clutch in, in time of need. Don't, I'm not taking nothing away from his greatness, but I'm just giving out the similarity of when they talk about the greatest shooter of all time. We just think this man coming down and hitting shots from anywhere. And ma majority of them were in the, within the uh, perimeter, within the three-point line. So, uh, shout out to both of them players, though. They both great. I just wanted to uh, say something about that real quick. I'm not saying that Larry Bird is a better shooter than Steph Curry, but I'm not saying Steph Curry is a better shooter than Larry Bird either. That's what I'm saying. Basically, that's where I'm going with this. Bird has 60 points. Larry 60 Bird of them. Fratello fined everybody $3,000, but what y'all didn't see was he was sitting down like, uh, you know what? <laughs> 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 Hold on, he got to show that part. Yeah, man, he was stroking that bitch from everywhere. <laughs> Fadeaways, up and unders, ugh, giving them everything. I can just feel it. You can sort of tell, and things were clicking right off the bat. There's Bird. Bird, 14 seconds. He got fouled. He hit the shot. Larry Bird. You know what the age-old question is, Timmy? Oh, could he play in today's game, right? Because everybody of now course. is bigger, stronger, faster, jumps higher. Is that true? Because I look at Larry Legend, and I go, Larry Legend is a legend for a reason, and he can play in any era. Well, I think his game would have had to adjust to the height, size, and athleticism of the games nowadays. But think about this would have torched a guy like Carl Anthony Towns. These young guys with his basketball IQ, yeah. he was a grown man. Three years of college. Oh, and before that, we might have never knew about Larry Legend. He was hauling garbage. Started off in Bloomington at IU, didn't work out there, goes back home, contemplates ever playing again. The fact that he was a grown man against these 20-something-year-old kids, he would have had his way. I, right. Uh, as Fact. a caveat growing up, I hated Larry Bird. I was a Sixers guy and Julius Irving. <laughs> so, but damn, did you respect the hell out of the guy? Because it just seemed like Oh, he's slower than everybody else. He can't jump. And yet he'd always seem to be open, always seem to get the big rebound, and always seem to make the right pass. Yeah, I think his basketball IQ is something that goes kind of under the radar. When you think about guys that really know how to play or teams that really know how to play, you know what those teams and guys do? They win. Yep. And I think that's what Larry would have done. He would have kept on winning. The interesting thing was Larry growing up his whole life, no three-point line. Nope. Think about every court he played exactly. on. Exactly. No three-point line. If he would have had that – sorry, Dave – mindset from the get-go. I'm going to need a shot after hearing that. He averaged 24 <laughs> points a game over the course of his career. I think it would have been towards 27. Kobe was always my favorite since, yeah. since I got out. I don't like that, by the way. But but, uh, but uh, LeBron James is by far our best player in this league. Wow. Best three players of all time, Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Larry Bird. That's what LeBron James said. Well, shout out to Larry Bird for commending Larry, uh, Le uh, shout out to Larry Bird for commending LeBron James, and shout out to Le LeBron James commending Larry Bird. Best three players of all time, Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Larry Bird. So this is the first time I've ever heard someone not include Magic Johnson. So um, that's that's different because, like I said, me personally, I don't really know too much about Magic myself, and I really didn't really consider him the number one or number two in the first place anyways. It was always uh, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, or Michael Jordan, Larry Bird. And then I probably would have been leaning towards Kobe. But um, drop in the comments who y'all greatest three players of greatest players of greatest three players of all time is. I'm kind of interested to know. Do y'all think Dr. J was better than Magic Johnson? I'm curious to that. Uh, obviously, we are all we are Larry Bird fans here, so we're not going to sit up and say any of them were better than Larry Bird. Besides, you know, Michael Jordan, not a lot of people, you know, they say they're iffy about it. But um, just drop that in the comments. Like the video. Be sure that we only got a few minutes left. But let's continue hearing what they got to say about that.
begin with the association. Longtime Indiana Pacer Reggie Miller showed loyalty to his former head coach Larry Bird on Friday. Miller played under Bird for three seasons with the Pacers, making two All-Star games during that span. Now, in, a, in an appearance on the Dan Patrick Show, mm -hmm. Miller said he would take Bird in his prime over LeBron James in a hypothetical draft. Mm. Larry Bird at his best, LeBron James at his best. Uh, and do we have to put the teams too, or just individual players? If there's a draft, oh my god, you can take Bird or LeBron. Oh. So let, let's say I take Larry at this age when I think he averaged 30, 10, and seven, something like that, and LeBron right now. So you got Larry Legend. Okay, or now LeBron. what rules? One, are we, what rules are we playing to? We're playing today's rules. <laughs> Tough oh, decision, go, Reggie. Joe. I see. I got to go with Larry Joe in today's rules. You can't yeah. touch him. Yeah. And Larry, so this is 27, 28-year-old Larry and 27, 28-year-old LeBron, yeah. right? Or is he 30 now, right? 30. Yeah. So 30-year-old Larry, 30-year-old LeBron. Okay, give me give me Bird's stats at 30, Paul. At 30. Because that, that, that was an MVP season, I think. Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, 30 points a game, mm. nine rebounds, mm. six assists, mm. two steals, and a block. Wow. Uh, can I answer that question now? That's amazing. Larry Joe. Yeah. You hear me? That's amazing. Larry Joe. 30, 30 back then. You take Larry Joe. Larry Joe uh, <laughs> for the win. Skip, Reggie would take Bird over LeBron. Do you concur, my friend? Stephen A. Smith, I do concur. I do agree. In a hypothetical draft, that's what they started off with. I'll take it at any age. You can do it at 18 or 22 or 26, 28, or as they finally concluded at age 30. I'm going to take Larry Bird just a little bit over LeBron James. Now, you can argue, oh, LeBron is such a superior athlete, and I will not argue back. But as an all-around basketball player, as a leader, and especially as a clutch shooting difference maker, I'm all about Larry Bird. He was a bad boy. For those of us, those in the, the audience who are just too young to know, bad boy. Better shooter from LeBron at any distance. Three-point shooting, percentage, whatever you want to do, and especially from the free throw line where he often led the league in free throw percentage did Larry Bird. Better rebounder, clearly just a little bigger, uh, had a little more better knack under the basket for acquiring rebounds a la Dennis Rodman as a below the rim six foot nine inch rebounder. I'll give LeBron a slight edge as an assist man, but only a slight edge because Larry Bird had the passing gift. And then we come to defense. I'll give LeBron a slight edge there, but Larry Bird, as you know, Stephen A could wreak havoc on defense to the point that he often led LeBron in the steals category. So I'm gonna give Larry a slight balancing edge there. Then we get to leadership, intangibles. They spilled over from Larry Bird, as you well know, because you're old enough to have covered him, which is why Larry Bird has three rings, lost two finals, no shame there, to Magic, Kareem, Worthy, Byron Scott, Michael Cooper, all the rest. Would I take him over LeBron James to start my my franchise? Yes, I would. And and I don't think it's even close. Well, on that note, y'all, that's part three. Tell me what y'all think about this video. I find it very interesting. Everybody took Larry Bird over LeBron, basically. Uh, in today's era, I already know. We got a lot more LeBron fans. Shout out to both of them. Commend them both. They're both legends. They're both Hall of Famers. They've both got tons of accolades under their belt. They're both going to go down as two of the greatest players that ever played basketball ever. Um, uh, this stuff right here is just table talk out of interest. Give your personal opinion in the comments. I'm curious. Who do you think would be, uh, be better at the age of 30? Lebr LeBron James or Larry Bird? Take a look at this right here. You got one playing 74 games, the other one playing 69. The one one averaging 40 minutes, the other one's averaging 36. Points per game, 28 to 25. Rebounds, 9 to 6. Assist, 7.6 to 7.4, which is pretty even. And a field goal percentage, of course, Larry Bird. That's the guy that started the 50, 40, 90 club. And get me if I'm wrong. I know y'all taught me that here on this channel. 
Larry Bird got 52.5, and LeBron has 48.8 with playing lesser games. So I'm kind of curious on what y'all take is. Shout out to everybody. That, you know, shout out to the guy that made this video. This is a great video as well. If you want to check his video out, um, go to his page. I always drop the links in the bio. Be at the bottom of it. You can click his page. You'll like his video as well. I highly recommend it. But just like the video, y'all. That way more people can check out the video. They can come on to the channel and they can join the Larry Bird family on over here. Um, and be sure to subscribe too if you're new to the channel. It's your first time checking the video out. But yeah, drop in the comments before we leave. Drop in the comments who y'all think will be a better. Who's better at the age 30? Larry Legend or King James? Larry Legend or King James? It's your boy, D. Taylor Nero, man. We out. Peace. See the butt.